Yes, I just woke up this morning, found out my AC, one of my units is not um, cooling down the house, the upstairs, I mean the upstairs AC. I've just opened the car, passed the lock, I mean where it's located, and I can already tell that it's not the, it's not the, might not be the capacitor that needs to be replaced. But we'll find out. I'm just gonna, you know, change it anyway. Um, hopefully that works. But there's no indication of any bubbles on it. But it, you know, you touch it compared to the new one, it feels a little puffy. But there's no sign of uh, uh, any bubbles. So uh, we'll, we'll we'll still find out. I'll change it, and um, the best way to do it is just change it as. One, one wire at a time and just place the wire uh, to the new one that matches the old uh, capacitor as you remove one individual wire that or oh, the best way also would be just take a picture of it and uh, do it that way but I would go the route of uh, changing one wire to placing it on the new capacitor. suspect it wasn't working my AC and it's a pretty easy deal to uh, do uh, it takes almost like what 10 minutes maybe at most um, but now I've already checked inside the house um, the air is blowing cool I'm here outside the AC right now and I can feel warm uh, air blowing out of the AC unit before it was only like cool air blowing out so Probably I've saved myself 200 to 500 dollars to have somebody come out here and uh, change the capacitor for. So it's a pretty easy deal. Take you like maybe 10 minutes at most to do that, and uh, hopefully this helps you. Um, 